Carville right? Is is your candidate now slugging? Of course not. I, if there was barking dogs in uh, New Hampshire, uh, Larry, it was they were barking over in the Clinton camp. I mean, President Clinton and others were out there pounding away. And uh, look, I understand that that's you know uh, that's a tactic. And James is the best in the business. I feel like we must be making progress if they drag the Hall of Famers out to uh, <laughs> to, to talk for them on the air. But the, the truth of the matter is, this isn't about. Uh, attacking each other. It's about lifting up this country. We've got a badly divided country. Everyone knows that. We've got a Washington that's dominated by special interests. And we've got a lot of people in public life who are more interested in scoring political points than, than, than solving problems. And we need to change that. And that's, everybody understands that. We, we're not getting these things done. We've got big All problems right. and we uh, need to solve them. And that's why Obama's running for president, not to uh, tear Hillary Clinton down or anybody else. Well, let me, let me read to you what he said because I want to be sure I'm reading from the AP. He said, uh, we're going to take it to them. I come from Chicago politics. We're accustomed to the rough and tumble. I mean, I'm just, I'm, I'm giving you man his word, you know, David, for, for that, that we, and, you know, just understand for, this guy for, came up in Chicago politics. For, it's a rough and tumble world. Right. It just hope stuff is that's kind of yesterday. Wait, it, wait, that was for these kids and I. Well, now we're James, in a, a battle. Let, 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 let him that. respond, Jim. Okay. James, uh, wasn't it your candidate who started her campaign by saying if someone comes after you, you deck them? I mean, let's not, let's not play games here. The fact is, for the last 48 hours before the New Hampshire no. primary, the Clinton campaign sent out several negative mailings. Right. President Clinton <clears throat> called, uh, 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 you know, uh, the uh, Obama's uh, history or his campaign uh, a fairy tale uh, and, went and, and went after him very, very hard. I understand that that's politics. Uh, what Obama's saying here is we're, we're going to defend ourselves and we're going to fight for the things that we believe in. I think people want that in their presidential candidate. What, uh, but don't 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 play the wounded party. Uh, the fact not, is, you guys did a very good job playing, of going after us in New I'm Hampshire, not playing, I'm not and, and 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 we're going to have a good we're going to have a good right. uh, 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 positive uh, discussion right. of the next uh, month about uh, where we're going to take this country. I'm not playing the wounded part at all, David. I'm just saying it. I, I understand it's going to just like Elder Cube sent to Clinton for representing India's interests and not the United States. to attack President Clinton. I don't know what what the Senate Obama's problem is with President Clinton's term in office. Was it the peace or the prosperity? But I understand that this is what's going to happen in politics. I understand. All right, let me get to uh, uh, folks. Yes, Guys, we're, we're only in the first segment, so let me get a couple of quick questions in. David, why, what happened to uh, Senator Obama in, in New Hampshire? All well, the polls well, had him. Were the polls wrong, or did he go wrong? Well, look, first of all, Larry, the polls were, uh, you know, six, six weeks ago and leading up to this, Senator Clinton had a 23-point lead, a 20-point lead. Uh, and we closed that. We had a near tie in New Hampshire yesterday. There were some robust polls on, on Sunday and Monday uh, that I think were overstated. And I think part of what happened is because of the nature of the New, New Hampshire primary, I think that a lot of people thought that race was over, so a lot of independents went over and voted for John McCain. I think there were some women who were choosing between Obama and Hillary who thought that, she, uh, uh, that, that he was going to win the race, and they gave her a vote. Uh, who may, might not have given her a vote, uh, and we had a very close race, so now we move on. We've won one, she's won uh, one. We go on to Nevada, we go on to South Car Carolina, and then James. February 5th, and we'll have, a, as I said, a good discussion about where we should lead this country. Right. What did it for Hillary, James? Well, I think that, the, you know, if you look at it, she talked about action. And, and, and you know, there's, a, there's probably a recession going on. She's the person that brought this up. She had, she had a dynamic plan to try to get some stimulus out there. You look at health care costs up 16 percent. And I think people looked at this race and they said, you know, let, 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 let this thing go on because Senator Clinton is talking about the things that matter to us is America. And if you watch the coverage of this race or you watch just the rhetoric of it, you would never know that this country is facing some serious and fundamental problems. And I think that Senator Clinton is a person who has thought long and hard about this, who, who has a, who put out, who talked about these things and, and taken action from day one and being ready. And I thought in that debate, when, when she, she was the only person to mention a looming or a possibly existing recession in this country, people's lives are being affected by the, by the, by the failures of this administration. And she's bringing it up. And I think that is, was one of the things that made people take a second look at her. David, uh, Karl Rove, who certainly knows his way around politics, he called Obama's smarmy, prissy comment about Hillary's likability during Saturday's debate one of the keys to her winning. Want to comment on that? Well, I mean, I'm not, I've been commenting on Karl Rove's uh, comments uh, for eight years. I mean, he, uh, 
He, he, he commented on, uh, uh, on war and all kinds of other things in ways that were misleading and wrong. So I think he's wrong about this. I just want to, I, I agree with James that I think we have serious economic problems in this country. Last fall, Senator Obama released an economic plan, including an $80 billion uh, tax cut for people making $75,000 uh, uh, or less to try and put some money in the pockets of hardworking people in this country who are really uh, in trouble right now. And that's really what's driving, uh, driving this recession. So these things are important. I, I would note that in the exit poll, people who are concerned about health care voted in larger numbers for Obama because I think they appreciated his, his health care plan. So, uh, you know, as I said, we're going to have a great debate. Uh, uh, here, and Obviously, it's not going to be about a name calling. Minutes. It's going to be about the future of this country. James, uh, is it these two down to the wire? Well, I think. Oh, yeah. I mean, I don't think there's any doubt. There never was any doubt that uh, the Democratic nomination comes in between these. And and, and uh, let me say, since uh, Obama's a very talented politician, uh, you, you know, he's 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 very very. He's got good political instincts. He's got a good political team around him. Uh, David Axrod is one of the best in the business, and, and he, he, you know, he, he's a tough politician. I think that uh, Senator Clinton, I, I'm just so delighted for her. She's such a warm and gracious person. I, I'm personally just cr so crazy about it. I was just delighted to see this, and I think this, oh, okay. this race is going on. The party has two really, really good we'll people be, on it. We'll be hearing lots from both of you, James Carville and David Axelrod. Thanks, Thanks a lot. Well, see you, James. All right, David. Man. You bet. Good luck Larry in everything with this thing. Good to see you, man. Not